My used to be Roguelite special is now my Roguelite CBO. What up, welcome back to another video guys. So as you can see, we have done a drastic change to my 2021 Roguelite Special, or should I say my 2021 CVO. I could just see all the CVO guys right now, just like, their heads blowing up. Before you go ahead and you drop a hateful comment in the comment box down below, let me just tell you guys why and how I did this. So yes, we got the CVO Rear Fender full kit on my 2021 Roguelite Special. This is all from Harley Davidson from the Harley Davidson parts and accessory collection. So you can go on HarleyDavidson.com and put in uh, the part number for this. I'm gonna be linking down all the description down below. So if you are interested in doing this, I posted a picture on my Instagram and I had quite a few guys hit me up and they were asking me where I got this and how I got it and everything. So let's talk about the Fender first. Um, like I said, it comes from the Harley Davidson parts accessories. Um, it was sent to me from Harley Davidson. So huge shout out to Harley for sending this thing out to me. Um, it's something that I've been wanting to do to this bike since I've gotten it. No, not because I want to make it into a CVO. Not to be like, oh, I have a CVO, because I know right now that's what most of you guys are saying. But because I, I absolutely love the look of this. I'm going to post a picture right here. I'm going to show you what the bike looked like before as opposed to now. Just, it, it, it just cleans everything up. These nice lights going down the sides right here. Everything just looks super clean, just well put together. And, and there's a reason why this fender is on a CVO, the top, top, top of the line bikes that Harley Davidson has for sale. Um, it's because A, it looks the best. It just, is, it's, it's so pretty. Now I was gonna go ahead and install all this myself. I didn't, I had my handy handy tech guy Eddie install this for me matter of fact let's call Eddie right now because I want you guys to get Eddie's feedback on how it was installing this uh, fender and I wanted to hear if he had any little issues so you guys can know about that as well what's going on what's going on man hey listen uh, so you are on film right now, and I'm doing a video talking about the fender that you installed So um, I kind of wanted to get your take on everything on how the install was and what you had to do or didn't have to do or blah 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 It's pretty, it's pretty fun install, you know, it, it yields great results as well, you know, aesthetically and all And uh, allows us for, you know, a more appealing look, you know, we all love the CEO styling and, and whatnot and uh as far as like getting it all assembled you really you really have to disassemble the entire rear section when it comes down to your saddlebag any any uh seats that you might have and all the brackets to them the um the actual brackets and rails have to come off any suspension that might be like a reservoir like for you that you have a setup like that and then the wiring itself. You okay. have to actually run new wiring, harness, it's all included in that setup. And uh, it uses uh, like a 3 amp adhesive in order to go underneath the fender for the rear lighting, for the lights and plate. And then the two harness connections for, for the lamps itself. Pretty straightforward, pretty beautiful results. And, and uh, I definitely recommend having two people do it. <laughs> you can, uh, yeah, for me, I had about five. It was great. <laughs> all right. So we all sort that all out and got you uh, beautified back there. Yeah. So it, it, it's a little time consuming, right? What was that? It's a little time consuming to do. Yeah, it's tedious. You got to make sure everything is lined, 
Because they just give you enough when it comes to the harness, but you have to set it correctly, and then you have to feed it above everything, and then through in the middle of the fender and the frame. And then they give you little bracket holders for the wiring and the antenna, and it allows you to run it along the outer edge of the frame. And then you can uh, have it safely there without any issue with uh, bumping a tire or whatnot. Okay. Awesome. All right. Um, relocation as well. They what? Definitely plan for antenna relocation. Oh, the antenna relocation. Yeah, yeah. But because oh yeah, that that's something I forgot to mention because the stock antenna won't go through this one because it doesn't have the hole where the other uh, fender does. Yep, that's correct. So relocating the antenna is something you gotta do. But, uh, from what I saw, it didn't really look like it matches up to where they. They specify it to be located. So there's still uh, ample places you can put it in. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, awesome. Dude, I'm going to be linking up your description down below so everybody can reach out to you again. And um, that's it. Anything else? No, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. And guys, uh, reach out if you have any help or questions, and uh, I'm here to talk. Awesome. Thanks, Eddie. No problem. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay, let's get back to the other portion of the video. So let me tell you about the Fender. Um, the Fender comes factory only primed, right? So if you do order the Fender, it's only gonna come primed. You're gonna have to get the Fender painted. I used a local guy, so if you guys are in the local area, Jersey, New York, um, I got it painted by JL Custom Cycles. Did an amazing job, nice clean work and has a really, really good customer service base. So I'm gonna be linking his description down below. So if you guys wanna get anything painted, hit him up, tell him I sent you. And then while we're on that, if you guys wanna get any work done to your bike, hit up Eddie. All his information is gonna be down below as well. His Instagram and blah, 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 blah. So hit him up, also tell him I sent you. So the few things you're gonna get with the actual fender when you order it is the actual fender and then this piece right here that goes on the outside, which is more of a plasticky material. Um, that's how it is on the special on the specials and the other parts. It just it's more of a plasticky type of uh, material on there. Um, and then this part right here, right over the license plate that comes with the um, with the lighting in there as well. So that'll come all together. Um, and like I said, you're gonna have to order the tail lights separately. Uh, these are smoked. That's how they come from factory. They look really really good. I'll turn them off for you guys right now. Show you how they look. Um, and I'm I'm absolutely I'm in love with the way it looks. I just think it just cleaned the bike up in the back um and it's just it's a nice way to stand out on the pack i mean a lot of people already you know they ask me like whoa like I, I like your cbo or is that a cbo just because of the paint job alone this bike does have a really nice paint job a paint job that you kind of would see on a cbo um so i i guess stop all the time and ask that question so now even more with this like i said before my intentions weren't to make this bike a cbo but here we have it. Let's just turn it on and show you guys how it looks. So as soon as you turn it on, that's what it looks like. And if we go ahead and we press that brake, lights up really nice, nice and bright. Go ahead and turn that right signal on. Cancel that out, turn that left signal on. Put both blinkers on. That's what it's gonna look like. Just a really, really nice lighting. Looks really, really nice and clean. I, I literally just want to sit here and look at this bike. It's just like so good. I think that's gonna be it. So if you are interested in doing this change on your road glide, then like I said before, all the information is gonna be linked down below. If you want to get some work done by Eddie, hit him up. If you want to get your bike or bike parts painted by JO Custom Cycles, then his description will be linked down below as well. And yeah, I'm gonna I'm about to go out and go for a little ride because it's beautiful out here in dirty Jersey, about 75 degrees today, and it's gonna pour soon. So I get a few little miles in before that storm comes down. I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe. Enjoy the ride, baby.